All right, guys. So we just picked up some parts for the Mugen EL for the case swap. Um, I found that on the marketplace. Solid dude. He literally gave everything for what I need. I highly recommend if you have a 7 Gen or an RSX to do this. Um, it's so worth it. Uh, right now I'm just vlogging on my phone. I left the camera at home like an idiot. But uh, the S10 actually has a pretty decent camera. Uh, so I just picked up the full electronic power steering off an EP3. You got the brain, got the harness, the rack and pinion. Uh, the tie rods obviously are going to be replaced. Got the power steering delete pulley uh, assembly. So I'm going to freshen all this up when the time's right and then we're going to swap all this in. Mercer just came back from uh, his getaway up north. He's looking fresh. What's up boys? And we're obviously here with the homie. And he's sitting on the F, which is like really close. Really, really, really close. Um, so just show. It's so weird on this car start. Right? Like, like it just, it just, it's crazy. It's just crazy. No prank, nothing. So, uh, this video is going to start off here because uh, basically the title of this video is We Got Parts for the Mugen EL. Uh, all the other parts I got are at home, which will be continued in this video. But for now, I wanted to start off with this, which I highly recommend anybody with a 7 Gen or an RSX, you do this swap. Like, it's phenomenal. It's better than looping the power steering rack or keeping the ugly, nasty power steering pump with the oil reservoir and everything like that. This is phenomenal. Uh, like I said, I have it on the ES1 and I love it. And yeah, it makes the bay a lot cleaner too, guys, if you're trying to keep that clean bay. Um, also, uh, once everything comes out, I'm going to degrease the whole engine bay. Uh, I'm not going to paint the engine bay because the paint actually on the Mugen EL is really good. Uh, and then I got all the other goodies at home that I'm going to show you guys that we're going to be installing on the Mugen EL with the case swap. So uh, lots, of, uh, lots of stuff coming ahead, lots of stuff coming ahead. So uh, you'll see everything else in the garage. Three, two, one. All right, guys, we're back in the garage. Uh, obviously, uh, now I'm with my actual camera. Oh, that light is a little extra bright. Let me go this way. So we're in the garage. Uh, I shot the first clip on my S10 because uh, I didn't have the camera with me the day I picked it up. Um, so yeah, we got the electronic power steering as you saw in the last clip. Um, got the parts laid out as you guys can see so far that I've started gathering and uh, before I get into further detail and show you guys exactly what I've amassed so far which is not a big uh, gathering but it's a start uh, I'd like to take the time to thank the homie Garage 16 for hooking up uh, with all the parts so far and the continued parts that we will be collecting uh, without the Garage 16 team, uh, it'd be a little bit more difficult. And uh, he's been uh, tremendous. He's been helping uh, with both builds, and uh, obviously Mercer Built, who puts everything together. So thank you guys for your continued support on the channel and everything. <clears throat> uh, as you guys have been uh, can see in the last clip, I had the OG Just Send It hat, and I just started making the new Just Send It Dad hats. I'll pull it out, as you guys can see, um, instead of going all black, we went with the red little stripe, kind of like it, really nice, um, comfortable, everyone knows I'm a fan of dad hats, uh, but I had to wait to find the right one, uh, and I did, so if you guys really like them, and you guys would like to get yourselves one, uh, DM me on Instagram on the Just Send It page or my personal Instagram, it doesn't matter whichever one. Um, and uh, shoot me a message if you'd like to order one and we'll go from there. So, without further ado guys, let's get right into it. So, as you guys can see, uh, we've got some uh, braking power upgrades right now. Uh, and as you can see by the box, Willwood. So, I gotta thank Rick a lot for these. They are uh, Willwood calipers, and gotta thank FIA as well because they got them done in a nice custom purple, and it came out beautiful. It's gonna look fantastic uh, with Ashley's rims. Uh, but believe it or not, these are actually gonna go on before the K swap. So I'm gonna be installing these 
very soon because I do need to do brakes very badly on the Mugen EL. So we're going to upgrade the front brakes already. Uh, we also got StopTech braided uh, stainless steel braided brake lines for it from the RSX, which are direct bolt on to the 7 gens and EP3s. So, yeah, everything RSX brake wise. Uh, I have the Russell braided lines on the Spoonius one, so I uh, figured with the Mugen EL, we're going to. We're gonna try different. We're gonna do different parts uh, than we did on the, the Spoonius one. So you guys get a general idea of what parts are what and the differences and uh, we'll see how they are. So we're gonna be upgrading the brakes in the coming week or so with all this. Stop tech, brake lines, well with calipers and uh, well with brake pads. Thank you guys at Garage 16 for hooking it up and thank you FIA for the amazing power coating. So, one big component when you guys are swapping a K is you need the jumper harness slash conversion harness. So, I have the K tune one on the Spoon ES1, but on the Mugen EL, like I said, I want to do different parts, like, you know, two uh, different uh, builds, I guess you could say. So, with the Spoon uh, my gosh, the Mugen EL, we are going with a hybrid racing conversion harness. And you know, I like the K Tune one, don't get me wrong, but I have like the first gen K Tune one from years ago. But I really like how they, they put this nice loom over the wiring on the, the hybrid racing. And see, everything's labeled ECU. All time 12. Oh, that's nice. Sorry, guys. I was just reading that. I was supposed to be reading that to myself, not on camera, but yeah. So, got the conversion harness for the the K swap. Now, even if I wasn't using, uh, well, because we're doing a triptronic, right? So, even if it was standard or whatnot, and I wasn't using K Pro or K Tune or anything, um, you would need an immobilizer, an immobilizer uh, to go on the stock ECU, uh, on the automatic. Um, you could use the ignition from the RSX, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to go with the K tuner. I haven't received, got one yet. Uh, I'm waiting for it. That'll be one of the last pieces. But uh, yes, that's what we're going to be using to tune the K swap on the Mugen L is K tuner. Uh, and I'll show you what you need along with the K tuner to make it work. I've done some some enormous research, so yeah, we're gonna go with that. Also, the next thing, uh, a dress up part from uh, Garage 16, the titanium coil pack cover. Garage 16 titanium uh, coil pack cover. Thank you, Rick, for this gift. It's gonna look phenomenal on the color that we're doing on the valve cover. Uh, for those of you who know, you know, and uh, AM Digital X Series oil pressure gauge. We're going to get rid of that analog one that we have, and we're going to go with the AM one. Uh, thank you guys again for for another hookup. This is going to be a very, very nice piece as well. And fun thing about the Triptronic RSX, guys, the shift knob. You know, everyone's like, oh, ugly automatic. That. So the shift knob on the automatic electronic unscrews off. And, oh, man. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you guys a bad close-up of my teeth. So I wanted to get something nice. A very nice shift knob. And guys, Grouch scene, they hook it up all the time. We got ourselves a carbon fiber Mugen 5-speed shift knob, which threads onto the... Uh, uh, shifter box of the Triptronic. So this is going to be a nice little touch, nice look. I got the 5 speed because it is a 5 speed Triptronic. So I I really love this. It's going to be a very, very nice, very nice uh, addition to the swap. Uh, that's pretty much it for the little uh, ins and outs. But the, the big part that I got already for the Mugen EL is 
Yonaka dual core radiator with fan shroud and slim fans. All right, this is a more affordable, affordable setup than what I went with on the spooniest one. I went with the coil rad, which was stupid expensive, but it does its job. Coil rad is it's coil rad. And then I had to do a Mishimoto rad fan and shroud kit with it. So the cost was more expensive than picking that up. The Yonaka combo is so much more affordable. And uh, so far David uh, has one for his EF for the B series and it, it does it amazing. He's got his car out already. He's been beating on it. It's doing its job. So I know it's good and like I said guys, I wanted to try different uh, parts on this build um, and more affordable as well. So I'm going to open it up and we'll have a look. So give me a second. All right guys, so I just opened it up and move the styrofoam. We're going to see what comes in here. You got a little pamphlet. Oh, something fell over there. That's okay. Little Yonaka Motorsports pamphlet. They supply us with a license plate frame. Thank you guys. Some Yonaka decals in white or in black. Very nice. Find a place to put those. And ooh, here's the radiator itself. Guys, give me a second. I'm going to pull it out. Guys, I'm actually really impressed. This thing looks really nice. Like, really, really nice. The welds on it are very good. The positioning. I think I might have to chop these off. I'm not sure. I, I have to do it on the coil rad. Uh, on the spooniest one. So, we'll see when we get there. But, guys. Slim fans, shroud, and uh, a radiator, dual core. Doesn't say you knock on it. Only on the this cap, but we're going to keep the Mugen one that we have on the EL right now. But guys, all this starting under $400. Starting. Then obviously your taxes and everything like that. But this is really affordable, guys. Like you're saving big if you go with this combo. And it looks beautiful. Dual fans. Keep the cooling down. Man, I really, I'm really happy I, I chose this for Ashi's Mugen EL. So yeah, guys, fantastic radiator, amazing, great product, looks fantastic. So uh, that's pretty much it for the parts I've amassed so far. Told you it's not a lot of parts because the majority of things I need I bought when uh, I bought the motor and everything. But uh, if anyone is from the GTA and you want to help someone out, I need help sourcing out a RSX subframe, uh, even EP3. If you guys can help me find an RSX or EP3 subframe, that would be fantastic. Uh, yeah, really need one. Uh, that's one of the finishing touches. I actually just remember there's one more part that I have to show you guys. Give me one second. I can't believe I forgot one of the most key important parts. I forgot it came, it came in this week and I, I was in such a hurry. So we got our innovative K-Swap 01 to 05 Civic mounts. They are not billet. They are the steel ones. And we went with the softer bushing because it is going to be a daily car. And the red will be too aggressive. We have the actual red ones right now in the innovative mounts for the D series, and it just vibrates way too much, you know. So this will be a little bit softer. If I need to get a little bit of harder mount, there's a step higher than these ones. Uh, these ones are what the 75 A's. So there's a step higher. Uh, note: We will be modifying one bracket for the tranny, obviously, and I'll show you guys with Mercer when the time comes how to do it. So we'll tackle that. So these are beautiful. Like I said, guys, different route. Have the Hasports on the Spooniest one. We're trying different on the the Mugen EL. Different brands that uh, normally people don't usually get. Yeah, we're looking forward to this. It's gonna be a sick swap, guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you know we uh, we have playlists. Just check on the playlist. Everything on the Spooniest one, the Mugen EL. 
There's a separate playlist just for this uh, automatic case swap that we're doing on the Mugen EL. And we're going to detail everything step by step. So that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I have to go get some more parts. And then it's just dress up parts for the motor. So obviously I want to make the motor look fresh, mint. Uh, I do plan on putting it on shows. I am going to put it on a track just to see what I can do. And then we're going to jump back on the Spoonius one, get all the parts we need to fix the motor, and get it back on the road, upgrade some things. Um, but yeah, we'll cross that bridge after. Um, we're not going to send the, the head to Gord Bush on the Mugen EL. Uh, I'm just going to put a new head gasket and ARP uh, studs. And then we're going to freshen up the motor. Do like a whole gasket kit. And then just, you know, send it. Just send it. Put some good oil. Just drive it. And then when it's ready for more upgrades, I'll, I'll build a separate head and then swap it on. Uh, I'm going to save the cams from the spooniest one that I have right now for it. So when we cross that bridge, we'll get to it. So, yeah. Guys, thank you guys for tuning in again. As always, I uh, appreciate you guys. And if you guys... Are interested in the new dad hats just hit me on the dms on either just send it or my instagram and all the description will be below in the video description so all the links everything so guys thank you appreciate it and just send it peace